We bout to play 2K Brutal Sims, step back J Kobe got that clutch, throw it up That's game What up? It's your boy, you don't know Brutal Simon is here, we can I mean I've been on fear to the big man, y'all I bring a bunch of tutorials and nothing for the big man So here is my ultimate big man post-up move tutorial Alright, with your boy Sim, you already know I'm using my big, the most dominant one of the most dominant big men that ever played the game Shaq you know because I'm tired of seeing a bunch of people I ain't on front when I'm playing the park I ain't seeing no big man pulling off no real post move the most they gonna be in their post move position and probably try to dunk it or something like that ain't got no finesse to their game man so here we go starting off with that drop step that post drop step man this is, pre this is pretty simple to pull off you know, while in the post position, tap X or square depending on if you're on Xbox One or PlayStation 4, then push the left stick towards the basket. Alright, then after you push the left stick towards the basket, press X or square and hold it. Alright, but that is gonna pull off the drop step. I'm telling you, this is one of this is one of the shack, the power moves. Alright, it's gonna take you straight to the rim, get that body and that dude. Get that poster, get him down on the ground, then you could start talking a lot of shit. You know how it is, man. Power is the big man's game. Alright, now here is for the hook shot. <laughs> this is one of the most difficult shots to block in league history right here. The hook shot, you already know, man. To pull off this hook shot, man, while in the post, just push the right stick towards the basket, man. It ain't that complicated but it's very effective especially when you're big as hell and you got to do something back there man or you could actually use your point guard i use it sometimes you know put my dude down in the post depending on how small the point guard is and get my post move on you already know how it is man nothing ain't you know it's not set in stone that only postman supposed to use this move man now time for the hop step this gets a lot of room between you and the defender to get their shot off very simple to pull off while you're in post position tap x or square then push the right stick left or right depending on what direction pretty much the defender is on if the di defender is on the left side it might benefit you to put it to the right if he's on the right side it might be the best thing to put it on the left after you push the right stick to the left or the right press and hold the square button now for the shimmy fadeaway the mj move itself right here why do the regular fadeaway man you already know hold on the two triggers all right that's that's l trigger and r trigger or when you're on the ps4 l2 r2 and push the right stick to the left or the right okay you gotta push it and hold it then they're gonna do that little shimmy fake right there <laughs> that uh, <laughs> that Akeem Elijah one used to be using before he do that up and under or something man so you already know now the next move on my list is the post spin I, this is very effective I've seen a few people use this and it always works except when you're on the baseline they usually spin all the bombs man but this is for you to get that easy dunk that easy power play to the dunk man so while you're in post position you need to rotate the right stick okay either base either side gonna work depending on how his position depend on where the ball is he's gonna do the quick spin if he's on right hand and you rotate it clockwise he's gonna do the quick spin if he's on the um right hand you rotate it anti clockwise he's gonna do a quick dive into the rim and vice versa next is the step back post move man now this is very dangerous this could, this is for the mid-range gurus again while you're in post position man tap x or square then push the right stick back then tap x again it's very simple very effective okay you gotta do it pretty quick it's like a double tap move it's gonna gain a lot of space to get off that mid-range that you all love man you all love it in the park believe that all right now it's for the up and under now this move is very effective again when you get to do a little fake and you did oh my god you won't be killing while you in post position you need to tap and hold the right stick left or right depending on what side let's say you let's say you're doing it on the right side right okay while you in post position 
hold the right stick to the right then for a split second watch the animation you gotta look for the animation when he steps back in then you release the left trigger from the post position then push the right stick to the left okay you get all that this is going to take a lot of practice for y'all to get man so i advise y'all get in the practice gym work on your moves then come out and kill people in the post i'll be you could even do it with your guards these post moves are very effective i already got all the badges each of these post moves got a badge to it okay each of these post moves got a badge to it so once y'all do it enough in my career which is where you should be getting your practice either way you're gonna be rewarded with a badge right so it's your boy you don't know brutal sim on the scene wicked i mean hope i help y'all post out man i find, i just thought i wasn't showing y'all enough love in the post and you got a lot of big man big man is very effective in this game man you cannot win without a big man so let's see y'all killing people in the post thanks to your boy sim if you're your first time to my channel subscribe show your boy some love for some more tutorials that will be coming soon if it's not your first time like the video share the video you never know who it's gonna help it's your boy Simon. You see what I mean? One love, respect, bless.